Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mad Dog here with another PSO2 video. So for this video today, I just want to do a recap on a couple of exchange NPCs that you should definitely keep an eye on for episode six. Now keep in mind, information I'm about to tell you may or may not be different from the NA release. So just keep that in mind. Also, just a little heads up for my last video. A couple people were confused about the weapon badges and stuff like that. I should have kept the record straight on what version of the game I was playing. So the second half of that video was straight JP and people were confused about the badges and stuff. So I apologize if I made any errors at all or confused people about that. Again, if you've exchanged your um, Turkey Day badges to we Rise Weapons 4 badges, you're good. So I apologize. So I've made a video on this a little while back about the certain exchange shops, but I just want to give a kind of recap so it can just give you more information about it so you can be prepared what's happening. So for Buster Metals and Limited Buster Metals, we already have these in the game. Nothing new. It's, it's literally everything's the same here. But what we do have is a limited prize, which will be a lot of the 15 star weapons that will drop in episode 6. Again, I'm not sure if this will be in the game, so just keep in mind what may or may not be in there. Um, for all we know, this may not be in, in a, so we don't know. And then Cobalt Metals, same thing, certain 15 star weapons and stuff like that. That'll drop from bosses and such in episode 6. And then we have Divide Metals for the Divide Quests and such, which will take a little bit longer to obtain weapons and stuff. They actually look really cool. I believe these weapons are based off a certain boss, but can't remember which boss it was. But yeah, you got some abilities here. Ultimate boosters are important. So um, one question I got on one of my videos where someone unlocked a weapon potential that had two potentials, but couldn't swap to the second one. So a lot of these may require an ultimate booster. So if a, if a trade shop or anything has an ultimate booster, Try to get a little stockpile of these. Um, generally, you can find quests that sometimes drop them from the end boss or anything like that. So if you get ultimate boosters, make sure you hang on to those. Uh, pure photons may be the same thing, but you can get exchanges and stuff like that. And then you've got cobalt metals and the crest. So we'll talk about the crest in a second because so far I haven't seen those in the game yet. We have, I think we have king crest. I think we have like 10 of them or something like that right now. And there's really no use for them at the moment. So let's jump over to Zeke because he's the man with the crest. So hang on tight. All right. So the next thing is I want to talk about will be the crest. Now, as I mentioned just a little while ago, we've obtained just a couple of crests with really no real uses besides just gathering somewhat dust in our storage. So let me show you some of the things that you should be saving up once they become available namely Sage's Crest, so keep peel for those. So the limited Crest items is the one thing you probably want to focus on the most as they give the best items, which I mean the rare items to transform all your weapons. So when you open up the limited Sage Crest, as you can see, there are all the very rare items to transform the weapons. Unfortunately, you can only do it once. So if you already gotten one, and then we're lucky enough to get another one. And you can also get one more through titles. And if you're lucky enough to get drops from them, they drop from like the Persona EQ and stuff like that. Certain bosses will start dropping them more and more and more. But yeah, if you ever needed one, this will be the way. So of course, you know, the Liberate Unlocker will give you um, your novel weapons to its max. And then the time reversal will upgrade your atlas weapons. And then the circular will, of course, get your light stream weapons or trailblazer. <sighs> they should have kept the light stream. I don't know why. That's just me. But anyway, going over to the crest weapons. There are four types. Depending on the degree of the crest will be the rarity of the weapon. So sage, you can always down trade. Don't know why you would. But then you got your 15 stars of different types of weapons. I'm pretty sure they'll be added in episode 6. Maybe. Um, they didn't really add this until mid episode 6, maybe a little earlier. 
they added these weapons and stuff like that. So you'll get all these should be hopefully when episode 6 launches we'll start getting badges of varying types and such. Here's heroes which will be kind of like kind of in episode 5 kind of vibe and stuff like that. So these are just the many types of weapons you can get. Yeah because these two are currently in the game and then all the Ares weapons are already in the game and such like that. And then you have King's Crest, which will be the demonia weapons they drop from the Buster Quest and such and such. And then you have Conquerors, which same way, but 15 star weapons, spread needles, cycle wands, cycle drive, I'm sorry, cycle wand, wow. Lavis Cannon and stuff like that. So if you're looking out for weapons, I know a lot of summoners are liking or wanting Rikro Staff really bad. So yeah, a little easier way to get those. So Again, this stuff will probably be different from what we get it, if it's even here, which it should be because we've all got something crest. So, there's actually one more vendor that I do want to show. I don't think it'll be relevant to us, but I figured we may as well go ahead and show it, so let's head over there and take a look. Okay, so for the last exchange, which probably won't apply to us, but I'm going to show it just in case it might, will be hunting stones. So. The hunting stones, the weapons are okay, but they're in the game as different types of hunting stones from magenta, pale, and yellow, and such like that. Um, they drop like just like red meat from the enemies, they just drop pretty much everywhere. But these are the type of things you can get. There are units which, just, which are fine and stuff like that, and then you get other hunting stones from trading up from the other things, stuff. So, yeah. Just a couple little things that, like I said, they're not going to be in episode 6, maybe for NA. We may get something totally different. And then their memories are different from us. Pretty sure we all know the Ragall memories, but they get the Weapon O, episode 0, TCG, all this other Japanese stuff, plus PS0, which we never really got on our game. But I've, I've played this, so it's, it's a pretty fun game. But yet, yeah, we probably won't get any more crossovers with that at all, or anything with like Puyo, whatever this Puso. I'm not sure. Pretty sure someone in the comments have seen this stuff. I haven't. But yeah, that's just in the game. It's right here. And I know that you have to participate in some stuff in public to get these badges, or watch a TV show and enter in a code, and then you get badges and stuff like that. So yeah. Needless to say, we won't be getting this. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. As always, take care, guys. Peace.